Hi everyone, today we're going to study types of angles. Let's start with right angle. It is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. Here is a picture of a right angle. For a right angle, there is a special symbol that denotes a right angle. That small square on that corner there, that means this angle here is 90 degrees. The next angle is acute angle. It is an angle that measures between 0 degree and 90 degrees. This is a picture of an acute angle. Some examples of acute angles are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. The next angle is called straight angle. It is an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. Here is a picture of a straight angle. It looks like a straight line. That's why the name is straight angle. The next is obtuse angle. It is an angle that measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. This is a figure for obtuse angle. Some examples of an obtuse angle are 100 degrees, 120 degrees, and 150 degrees. The next is one revolution or full rotation. It is an angle that measures exactly 360 degrees. Here is a picture of one revolution or full rotation. In this angle, the initial side and the terminal side coincide. Another angle is the reflex angle. It is an angle that measures between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Here is a picture of the reflex angle. Some examples of reflex angle are 200 degrees, 270 degrees, and 300 degrees. Now let us have types of groupings of angles. The first group is complementary angles. These are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Some examples of complementary angles are 45 degrees and 45 degrees. Another pair is 60 degrees and 30 degrees. Another pair is 80 degrees and 10 degrees. The next group is supplementary angles. These are two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. Some examples of supplementary angles are 90 degrees and 90 degrees. Another pair is 100 degrees and 80 degrees. Another pair is 170 degrees and 10 degrees. We can see that the sum of each pair of angles is 180 degrees. Another group is called adjacent angles. In the figure here, the two angles are the angle X and angle Y. For adjacent angles, they have common vertex and common side. The common vertex is the point A, 
and the common side is the side AD. Another group is called vertical angles. We can see vertical angles in the intersection of two lines. In the figure here, the angle X is also there on the other side and these angles X and X are vertical angles. The same is true with the angle Y and another angle Y here. This is another pair of vertical angles. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.